China has been honoring its commitment to making vaccines a global public good once available. Primetime has arranged a series of online interviews with the recipients and representatives authorities in the countries that received Chinese vaccine. Zimbabwe on Tuesday received a second batch of Sinopharm doses donated by China. These vaccines will allow Zimbabwe to kickstart a second phase of the inoculation program. I'm pleased to bring in Stanford Zira, an overseas student from Zimbabwe. So Stanford, what's the current situation of the pandemic in your country? Uh, the situation of the pandemic in my country has been bad. There was a lot of spreading of the virus. Uh, people got infected and uh, sadly there was loss of lives. But also people were advised to take some necessary measures against the pandemic. That is uh, staying indoors, sanitizing and uh, social distancing just to prevent the further spreading of the virus. How about people's expectations for the vaccine? Well, firstly, I would like to appreciate and thank the Chinese government for supplying us with the vaccine. And the expectation of the people is very high that this vaccine will help to eradicate and get rid of the further spreading of the virus. And people's lives may return to normal and they can go about doing their daily jobs uh, and operations without any difficulties or any fears of the pandemic. What further cooperation can be taken to control the pandemic? Well, I'll say uh, the sharing of ideas is a great thing to happen. Uh, since China is one of the first countries to have had been able to get rid of the virus, uh, it would be good that there will be more sharing of ideas and also more vaccines just to make sure everybody gets a shot of the vaccine and uh, everybody may be safe. Thank you. Stay tuned and uh, we'll bring you more information about Chinese vaccines and global cooperation on fighting against the COVID-19 later in our news.